Hi, how's it going? Just Ryan here again. Um, sitting in the garden in the sun, taking five minutes from work just to uh, make this vlog of the update. So this week, um, two pounds down again. Uh, I'm happy with that, obviously, but I'd like it to be a lot more if possible. Um, I feel like at the start I was getting six pounds a week, and now I'm one, two pounds. Uh, I think I'm going to have to try harder. Um, I think if I reassess things, I think perhaps I've been getting a little bit cocky with the diet. Perhaps I've been um, thinking I've got it sussed and getting a bit lackadaisical with it. And if I'm honest, I think if I look back at what I've been doing, I have been letting certain things slip, maybe portion size, certainly, um, maybe the accuracy of the calories I'm counting. Um, instead of being hyper accurate, I'm, I'm perhaps guesstimating some things which I shouldn't. So, um, hopefully, next week we'll have a, a slightly bigger target. I know the targets are kind of arbitrary as long as they're going down, it's all just in my head, but um, I would feel better if I was losing maybe three or four pounds a week, I think. However, this week marks a good total because this week I Marks three three stone one pound down from when I started, or in American money that's uh, forty three pounds. So it's a bit of a milestone. Um, so obviously I'm chuffed that, and I am starting to notice really. I mean, sitting here obviously I'm still a huge man, but just t-shirts, just it feels a bit baggier, you know. Um, <laughs> to your average person, this is pretty much like the ship's sail, but. Um, or a parachute, but to me it, it, it was neater on me when I first started this and it's definitely all my t-shirts the same because, you know, black hides fat so I went out and bought, I don't know, seven or eight t-shirts a year ago or a couple of years ago and I, I just replaced them when they need done and I'm kind of the man in black these days um, but yeah, they are starting to lose yeah, become baggier so I'm going to have to buy some new ones soon I think that are Less more fitting. Um, perhaps I'll stop buying black ones. For, you know, maybe I'll get a bit more colourful in life again. I used to be quite colourful, but not these days. Um, but I am noticing not just the clothes, but I'm noticing I'm able to stand a little bit longer when I'm standing uh, in the garden. I cut the grass the other day. I wouldn't have been able to do that um, certainly six months ago. Well, six months ago, winter, but you know, last summer. Um, I would probably have relied on my son's doing more of it than me, um, whereas my son did help me, but I'd done quite a, quite a chunk of it, and um, so I'm quite, you know, quite happy that I'm starting to notice in these abilities coming back. And I say certainly the standing and the walking, and the, um, it's always my lower back that gets sore, and then when the lower back's got sore, it spasms, and then. You're sort of around your ribs spasm and then of course it's bloody hard to breathe and people think you're out of breath but it's not you're out of breath it's that your back's so spasmed from the carrying all the weight on the front that it stops you breathing and um yeah so that's i'm definitely noticing my longevity of being able to stand up a lot better um that's us that's been nine weeks in now and yeah, I feel, I still feel good. I feel, feel good. It, it's, I think I'm getting to that stage now where the initial excitement and the initial enthusiasm is perhaps starting to wane throughout the day. Um, when I, obviously, when I first started the first two or three weeks, I was so keen to do everything. And, and now, after nine weeks, um, it's not becoming a chore, but I am having to think about it. I am having to to check myself because I, I feel the old habits are tapping at the door wanting to come in and I'm having to um, really try and resist them and I didn't have that in the first two or three weeks obviously you had the, the elation of being a new convert to the to the weight loss journey and everything you're super enthusiastic about every hardship and there is hardships you know you are trying to lose you are trying to Lose weight, and the only way to do that is by calorie deficit, and so you are depriving yourself of things, especially things that you might like. And 
um, foodstuffs that you, you might like and that in the past have brought you pleasure. So in the first few weeks it's dead easy to ignore them because you're really enthusiastic about losing weight. But now I'm finding nine weeks on that I'm really having to check myself. I'm really having to... Um, so what, yeah, like you know, it, it's like actively try and choose not to do it, as opposed to just it just happen. But I haven't really fallen off the wagon yet, and I certainly haven't suffered any binges or anything like that that people have. I've heard people speaking about online. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's something I'll get my mentality. I'm quite stubborn, like, I used to smoke, I used to smoke about 40, 50 a day, and I stopped, just like that, I just stopped one day, I just decided not smoking, and I just stopped, and I, I guess that's the kind of mentality I have, that if I'm going to do something, then I'm just going to do it, but that's quite, there's a, the big difference between that, when I stop smoking and now, is obviously I have to eat, <laughs> so you can't just stop eating, you have to, you have to eat, and I'm finding that it's taking a bit of mental discipline, a bit of um, a bit of self-discipline. And there has been a few occasions when I've probably made the wrong choice, but I've had the discipline so far to wasps. Um, I had the discipline so far to when I have made that wrong choice to try and afterwards reduce a little bit the next day or later on the day or just oh, okay well I've had a bit too much for lunch so I'll just have a bit less for dinner and that's where I was different before I wouldn't have done that I would have made the mistake and just made the mistake sick again and again and again and I still haven't I'm still off all fizzy juices which was or soda pops if you want to call them uh, cokes fanta's things like that I'm still I've had a sip occasionally um, I was sitting in the car with my son, he had one and it was very dry throat and I said, give me a sip, but I had a sip and that was it. I actually found it really quite off-putting. I found it, it was a Fanta and I found it so strong flavoured, having not had anything but water for so long, that when I, I drank the Fanta, <laughs> actually it was quite burning my throat, it was really strong flavoured. So I'm sticking to that, so I'm not, and I, I do feel that was one of my main calorie um, excesses in the past was I would drink litres and litres of the stuff um, Coke, Iron Brew, Pepsi, Fanta, whatever I just drink it by the by the gallon, literally um, so that stopped altogether, I don't need to do that so I don't do that, food wise obviously you need to eat and it's it's a bit tougher um, I, I, I don't notice when I look in a mirror in the camera here, I don't notice a huge difference myself yet. I don't know when that's going to happen. I see the difference in the scales every week, but I don't see it physically yet. I still feel exactly the same size when I see myself, you know. Um, I'm slightly less fat around the jawline, but minimal. But, but other people have started to notice it, which is interesting. Other people who I haven't maybe seen for a month or something are, are commenting, oh, you look like you've lost a bit of weight. And, you know, when you're fat, people quite often say things like that. And um, maybe to encourage you or whatnot, I don't know. And you always take it with a pinch of salt. But this time, people, I'm sort of saying, you think? And people, you know, you really? And people say, yeah, no, I really see a difference in you. And as I say, now that I'm looking at myself in this camera, I scratch your clothes on. <laughs> I do see this t-shirt is getting nearly quite baggy. So that's nice. But one of the things that when people have said things like that to me, and then they, they sort of ask you what you're doing and how are you how are you doing it and all this. And one of the things I always get asked is, oh, you not want to try something like Slimming World or, or Weight Watchers? And I don't. And I don't have anything against these things. I think they're a great thing for a lot of people. I mean, you see results. I'm involved in a community hall here in Kirkcaldy. We used to host a Slimming, a Slimming World class thing. And I, I saw in my own eyes how it benefits people. But I don't think it's going to benefit me. And, and the reason why I don't think it would benefit me is because I'm 
somebody who really needs to take control myself. And I feel, and I may be wrong in this, I feel that if I was to go down that route, I would be placing the responsibility for my weight loss on the organisation, on the class, on the, the system that they were employing. And therefore I wouldn't, because I wouldn't be taking responsibility myself, I would be feeling like the I'd be passing the blame onto them if it went wrong. And I don't think I would take myself so serious I don't think I'd take the diet so seriously because I wouldn't have taken ownership of it myself. I would like the sort of support network that these people have where they go and they meet their friends and they all support each other and that would be great and that's kind of what I'm doing here with YouTube, I mean and Facebook and Instagram and whatnot else and it, Twitter, it, it, it's not quite the same and obviously not as many people see it, there's maybe only four or five people watching a video every week or whatever but um, it, I get that part of the Southern World thing and I think that would be a great thing to have that network, that support network around you but for me it wouldn't work because for me I would, I know because I know the kind of personality I am, I would place all the responsibility on that and so when it failed I would say oh yeah Slimming World didn't work for me or Weight Watchers didn't work for me or something like that that would be false because of course it would be me that would have made the mistake but that's the mentality I would have so that's why for me I for now things may change <laughs> I'm avoiding those kind of systems and things because um, I need to take full responsibility for myself I need to take I need I need to not only say that I need to actually do that and I need to know in my head that this is me and if I make a mistake it's my fault it's not Slimming World System or Weight Watchers system or the class or the teacher or the, it's me and that's really quite important for me um, I don't think it would work otherwise I have to take responsibility so that's why I'm not going with them other things that people have spoken about things like Herbalife and whatnot no, not interested food doesn't come in powder form as far as I'm concerned those things my son when he was um, in training he um, used to use the protein shakes but all they are is a couple of hundred calories in liquid form nothing more nothing less there's no magic formula there's no <laughs> they don't all you're doing is a calorie deficit if you're losing weight or in his case he was trying to put weight on and muscle on it's a calorie uh, positive you know that's all it is it's 200 calories or 300 calories whatever they are in a cup full of milkyish flavored drink there's no magic for it. and and again I think if you're personally if it works for you great but if it for me it's not gonna work for me because I don't see it as being sustainable um, you can't live on 30 pounds worth of powder all your life every month you need to, real food comes from comes from animals it comes from plants and you just you should eat real food fresh food sustainable food that actually tastes right um, so yeah that that system's not for me either Anyway, I feel like I'm rambling on, so thanks for listening, and uh, I'll see you all on the next one. Thanks very much. Cheers.